A very good afternoon to you tuned into UBC TV. Welcome to our very first news bulletin on the week, uh, today being the Monday, uh, 15th of April 2019. My name is Michael Jordan Lukumwa and this is what we have for you. The revival of the Uganda Airlines is under, in advanced stages of receiving the first batch of aircraft from the Canadian manufacturer Bombardier. An order of four aircrafts was made with Bombardier for the regional routes and another two long-haul jets with Airbus, all the six expected before the end of 2020. We are reliably informed that Minister for Works and Transport, Monica Azubantege, Permanent Secretary at the Line Ministry, Waiso Bagia, and the Interim CEO of the Uganda National Airlines Company Limited, Efren Bajenda, are in Montreal, Canada, to receive the aircrafts. UBC equally dispatched a team of correspondents to Canada to relay the step-by-step -step delivery of the first two Bombardier CRJ-900 aircrafts planned to touch down the country on the 23rd of this April. The country placed firm orders with the Canadian manufacturer for four aircrafts. Nevertheless, the remaining two are expected to be delivered in June and September this year. Onyango Jackson is with Samuel Sendono in Montreal, Canada. The Ugandan government delegation led by the Minister of Works and Transport, Engineer Monika Ntege Azuba, the Permanent Secretary Minister of Works, Waswa Bageya, and the CEO of Uganda Airlines, Ephraim Bajenda, have arrived in Montreal, Canada after almost 18 hours in space. The delegation was received upon arrival by Uganda's High Commissioner to Canada, Joy Ruth Achieng. Arrived very safely. The flight was very good. We came on SN Brussels, and um, it was a it was a very very smooth flight actually. And the layover in uh, Brussels was very short, only three hours, and then we got on Air Canada, but under SN Brussels, we got on Air Canada, a very good flight, and a very comfortable plane, and we have arrived safely here. The main purpose of this visit is to receive the two aircrafts from Bombardier, a Canadian manufacturer. We will have a ceremony on Tuesday where we are going to receive the planes officially. Uh, they will be handed to us. Uh, the, um, the crew has been here. The uh, pilots have already tested the planes. The engineers have tested. And uh, so everything is ready. It was just waiting for us to receive and to finish. The legal part of it, that is what the CEO is going to do, so that they sign off. And after that, well, we go, we take our aircrafts. They will be ready, we will be waiting for only one, one certificate from CAA, the certificate of uh, airworthiness, but it will come around the 17th. The jets are expected to embark on the ferry flight on the 19th of this month, and we'll reach Uganda on the 23rd. We are not supposed to fly on those aircrafts. Uh, the aircraft will come with the delivery crew, like the minister said, uh, uh, pilots from Bombardier, and our pilots with a few engineers. They will leave here on the, on the 19th. Uh, the flight plan is such that they fly from here in Montreal, uh, pass through uh, Goose Bay in, uh, in northern Canada, then they will go to Reykjavik, Reykjavik in Iceland. Uh, from, the, the, uh, from there they will go to Maastricht in Netherlands. From Maastricht they will go to Aswan. From Aswan they will arrive, they will arrive in Entebbe on Tuesday the 23rd at about 3 p.m. Mr. Bagea, the Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Works and Transport, who is also in Canada, hails this as a tremendous milestone made by the country in reviving the national career. I'm happy that we are now here. It started way back in July 2017 when the President appointed a task force to support us in the, in the exercise of acquiring the planes. We have worked closely with this task force to reach where we are. Uh, December 22nd, 2017, the task force concluded the, the uh, an implementation plan, a business and implementation plan, which have been implementing to guide the whole process. Before the official handover, we expect to have an opportunity with Bombardier to check on the aircraft 
before they are delivered to Uganda. I'm Onyango Jackson reporting for UBC TV from Montreal, Canada. Thank you, Jackson.